Hello, everybody. My name is Casey Hutchison. I am the creator, co-executive producer, and co-head writer of Forever and a Day. Um, I hope that all of you enjoyed the first week of the show with episode one that aired on Monday and, of course, episode two that aired today. Um, so anyway, before you guys go any further, I thought I would give you the rundown of our little families in Augusta, Illinois, and the many multifaceted, beautifully dysfunctional residents <laughs> that they come into contact with. So we'll start with the Harpers. The Harpers are definitely, um, when I crafted them, they definitely became kind of the Carrington dynasty type family. Um, there are many layers to that family. They're multi-generational. Um, you have Gunner, who is the mayor of Augustus, Illinois. And of course, he's running to be the next governor of Illinois. Um, and for 28 um, years, he's been married to Elaine Walters Harper. Um, he um, is a very complex individual. He always believes that he does everything for the right reason, and that reason is to protect his family. However, he definitely crosses the line sometimes. Um, then you have his wife, Elaine. She's the First Lady of Augusta. She is by her husband's side through thick and thin. Um, she's the perfect housewife. She's the perfect mother. She just wants to make sure that her family stays perfect. But there are some secrets that could possibly take her down. You'll just have to stay tuned. <laughs> um, Gunnar and Elaine also have two children. Caitlin, who is in a forbidden relationship, um, which we'll touch more on that later. Um, and also she is a fashion blogger and she goes for the jugular in her blog post. She doesn't hold back. She just goes for it each and every time. And then you have the heartthrob, the son who wears, you know, his heart on his sleeve, um, Colin Harper. Um, he is equally ambitious like his father. He just wants to set out to have a good life. Um, but of course, you know, who gets to have a good life, <laughs> especially in a soap opera? <laughs> um, and as you know, uh, from the first episode, Colin was, of course, left at the altar um, by Leslie Marshall. Um, and so let's get into the Marshalls. The Marshalls own um, the uh, publication, The Magnifier, um, which, you know, anytime we do those business magazine scenes, there's so much fun to write. Um, and so The Magnifier was started by Isaac and his late wife, Dolores. Uh, Dolores passed away three years ago from an aneurysm that burst. Um, and so Leslie and Isaac are still trying to cope with that. Um, it was a big loss, um, not only to their um, publication dynasty, but to the family as a whole. Um, and family, I will say, means everything to the Marshall um, kind of quad. <laughs> um, they're so interconnected. They're so interlocked. Um, so Isaac and Dolores, of course, had their daughter, Leslie. Uh, Leslie has a child as well named uh, Aiden Bennett. Um, Aiden uh, Bennett, his father is Alex um, Bennett, which we'll get into that more. <laughs> um, so that kind of rounds out the Marshall family. And of course, if you watched our Marshall family promo uh, from before the show started, uh, then of course you'll know that Isaac has a brother named Gregory that will appear later <laughs> in the show. So you'll definitely have to stay tuned. Um, then you have the Bennett family. The Bennett family is very independent. Um, they're very strong-willed. Um, they're very complex. Um, the Bennett family, everybody has a place in the world in the Bennett family, 
and they're more of a stay in your lane type of person. They're not as close, which I think thrives on the issues in the family. Um, and so you have the patriarch, Jonah Bennett, played by the amazing Matthew Preston, who I adore. Um, and Jonah, of course, if you listened to that first episode, is having an affair with Stephanie Markham, who is Isaac's assistant um, at the Magnifier, which is such great fun to write. I know you all loved a certain scene in the first episode that kind of pushed the envelope a bit. Um, and then you have... Um, he is a representative uh, for the state of Illinois, but he has decided to toss his hat in the ring after all these years to further his political career. Uh, he is now going to run against Gunner in the gubernatorial um, election and race, which will be a lot of fun as the series, pro series uh, progresses. Um, then you have his very independent, strong wife, the matriarch, um, Miranda Bennett. She is a criminal attorney. She owns the Bennett Law Firm, uh, which will get introduced later in the season as well. Um, she's very fun. And Renee Saran, who portrays Miranda, uh, she brings a lot of fire out in the character because Renee is a little fiery herself, and I love what she brings. Um, and then Jonah and Miranda have two children, Alex and Lakin. Of course, Lakin is involved in the forbidden relationship with Caitlin. And as you know, it's uh, forbidden uh, because Caitlin is not out yet. And she can't come out because of her father's conservative ties. It would just dis destroy her father's political career. Um, and, you know, Caitlin had a fantastic line this week, which was, it's not 2020 in my life. And that is something um, that I think everybody can remember in this relationship. Um, so Lakin is uh, kind of following in her mother's footsteps in terms of she doesn't take any crap. <laughs> She's a spitfire nightclub uh, manager um, who I think you will just fall in love with as the season progresses. Um, and then you have her brother, uh, Alex, who did follow literally in their mother's career footsteps. He's a criminal attorney as well who works at Bennett Law Firm. Um, and he is engaged to Leslie again after Leslie left Colin at the altar. So, I mean, there's a lot there. There's lust. There's lies. There's betrayal. There's the soapy goodness that everybody loves. Um, so anyway, stay tuned. A new episode is actually Monday. You get episodes every Monday and Friday at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central. And of course, as you know, it's a podcast, so you can always go back and binge. So if you haven't listened to the first week, I'm not really going to give you any more spoilers from this past week uh, because I want you to listen. Um, you can find it on our website, faadseries.com. You can find it on any podcasting platform imaginable. You can get connected with the show on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All you have to do is search at FAAD Podcast, and you're right there to all of our social media platforms. So thank you to everybody for a great debut week. Have a lovely rest of your day. And tune in next week for more drama. Mwah.